All right, folks, how you doing? Russell True Results 303.com. Check out the website link in the description box, Mind, Body, Spirit, Fitness. Put in the healing back in health. Once again, when you're at the website, sign up for the newsletter. Check out the free download, Setting Goals, Fitness, and Nutrition. Don't forget to follow on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Google+. Plus. The podcast is out there. All links down below in description land. Coming at you today with a video on what foods are healthier. Right, We all know that nutrition is a key role in not only hopefully living longer, being healthier, right, but just feeling better in general because quality nutrition is going to help rebuild the body in a positive way. So I was reading through one of my magazines here. It's called The Idea Fitness Journal. As you can see right under fitness for a certified personal trainer. So, and they, they had it in here. They had a whole little section on what's better. So let's see if you pass the test. See if I pass the test. I've already looked at it, so I already kind of know. But let's see what's better. I might go into detail. I might scan it real quick. Um, but let's give it a go. So what's better, bison or beef? I think anybody who does any average research is going to know that it's bison. And let's see right here. Bison is it. And it's going to say, let's see. Differing in the rearing methods, including the greater likelihood of being pasture-raised than grain-fed. So, of course, that's just because bison is normally going to be organic, grass-fed, all those things. And then we know once animals are raised naturally, they're able to roam the prairies and all these things. They're going to have more vitamins and minerals themselves. Cattle, bison, things like that weren't meant to eat grains, but of course grain gives them that fat. That's why those fattier cuts of meat, meat taste so good because of that fat. Uh, but once again, we want those leaner types of meats. This is where they say you might want to go more organic just because toxins store up in the fat. So now if you are eating those animals that are on grain diet, diets, being fed hormones and mistreated, yes, that fattier cut tastes better, but unfortunately you're getting more chemicals as well. Next is going to be apples or pears. I didn't look at this one, so I don't know. In my opinion, I'm going to go with pears. To me, it just sounds right. More people eat apples a lot, so that's why I'm going to go with pear. Most people don't eat pears. Let's see what it says. Pears is. It says, um, let's see. Pears provide 50% 50 more dietary fiber. A medium fruit delivers 6 grams and we should be getting 25 to 38 a day. And then it says pears also have vitamin K, which is associated with the reduced risk of developing type 2 diabetes. Next, almonds versus walnuts. What do you think? Almonds versus walnuts. Now, I've looked, and I think I've got it right. I'm going with walnuts, but I just looked at it a while back. Let's see. Nope, it is almonds. I was wrong. Let's see. Walnuts harbor higher levels of omega-3s, including pro they're higher in protein, fiber, vitamin E, riboflavin, magnesium, and phosphorus. These make almonds a more nutrient-dense option. And so there we go. Daily almond consumption can, has also been shown to help quell the inflammation associated with chronic diseases like diabetes and heart disease. Next. Kale or spinach? I'm going to go with kale just because it worked for me on the first one. It didn't work for me on the second one. Kale seems like people eat spinach more than kale. And I know, uh, if I remember correctly, spinach, raw spinach, I think, can be difficult for those with thyroid issues. Now, I could be wrong. You're going to have to do your own research. Cooked spinach is okay, but raw spinach has something to do, can cause difficulties with thyroid. So let's look it out. It is kale. Um, looks like Popeye got it wrong. Kale contains twice as much immune boosting, boosting vitamin A, four times as much antioxidant vitamin C. Kale also provides 70% more bone strengthening vitamin K and three times as much lucian and zeaxanthin. Zx and thin, an antioxidant duo shown to bolster eye health. 
Next, canned salmon or canned tuna? I'm going to go with salmon just because we all know salmon, I would assume, is healthier than tuna with the higher fat content and still with the protein omega-3s and all that. Let's see. They're going with canned salmon. <clears throat> and it is, it says, uh, has salmon, of course, has more omega-3s, more vitamin D, 20% more bone-building calcium, and that's it. Next, whole wheat bread or sprouted bread? Now, this could be a difficult one for some because whole grain gets a good word in today's society, but I'm going with sprouted grains just because I did start, I've went vegan before, so I've also looked into the vegan diet, and I think they say, you know how a lot of people will say grains are bad, and this and that, they say that grains become healthier, or whatever chemicals are in those grains are healthier when they are sprouted, because once they sprout a little bit and start to break open and develop, they use those harsh chemicals in that germinating process. That's what I've been told. That's what I've heard. That and Ezekiel bread is usually all sprouted. They're these ancient grains, and they are also sprouted. And it is sprouted. <clears throat> sprouted bread, let's see. Sprouting items like wheat improves their overall nutritional profile, and sprouted breads like Food for Life are often richer in protein and fiber. Quinoa or brown rice? I'm assuming we all know it's going to be quinoa, but let's find out. I didn't look this far in. I'm actually going to have to flip the page, and it is quinoa. I used to call it quona. Or, yeah, quinoa. Let's see. Why is it? Provides more... Protein, fiber, iron, potassium, magnesium, zinc, and folate. Quona contains a full complete, a full complement of amino acids. And it takes half the time to cook, and we all know that's a great thing. Next, turkey or chicken? I'm going to go with turkey um, just because I think also they say when you are tired, you know how people say you eat turkey dinner and you get tired it's one of those amino acids thiamine no that's a vitamin um, they say that's the actual amino acid that makes you sleepier on Thanksgiving it's from the turkey and it's not really from just eating a lot let's see turkey oh I hope they bring that up has more protein zinc selenium iron and that's it that's what they're going with Cheddar cheese or Swiss cheese? This is a big one, but I'm going to go with Swiss over cheddar because, once again, just cheddar is a very popular cheese. So I'm going with Swiss. And it is Swiss. Per serving, Swiss has a little less saturated fat, which is not a bad thing. Saturated fat is not a bad thing. <clears throat> just remember that. It's not a bad thing. But I'm going to go with it, and it has less sodium. And that's all it says. And it has calcium and phosphorus as well. Pink grapefruit or oranges? Now, I dislike grapefruit with the passion, um, that taste. And like I always tell people when they say, oh, I love grapefruit. And all I can remember is when my mother used to eat it when I was younger. And then you just dump salt all over it, right? Probably nowadays I wouldn't mind grapefruit since I am older a little 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 bit more mature so i'm going to go with grapefruit um, just because that pinkish color i would assume they go off of the richer and denser the color the healthier the food is going to be so i'm going to go with grapefruit <clears throat> and it is grapefruit higher in lycopin an antioxidant that improves cholesterol 21% more vitamin C, or A, 35% more vitamin C. And that's what they're going for. And it contains a little less sugar. Greek yogurt or regular yogurt. Everybody should know this. It's always going to be Greek yogurt. And, of course, it is. Let me scroll down and see what I can find. It's higher in protein, leaving you less hungry. Contains half the sugar. 
has a little bit more beneficial bacteria for the gut. And it says, though, regular yogurt does have more calcium. Tilapia versus halibut. I'm going with halibut. And I'm, yeah, I might not want to. Now thinking of the mercury, I can't remember if halibut is on the list of uh, dangerous fish to eat for mercury. But I'm going to go with halibut. And it is halibut. There we go. Omega-3s. While both have the same amount of protein, omega fat is twice as high in halibut. I'm going to go into recommendations. 400% milligrams of fat. More uh, B12, niacin, selenium, potassium, phosphorus, and magnesium. Green pepper, bell pepper, or red bell pepper. It is going to be red bell pepper. We all know, like I discussed earlier, with that red color, there's more antioxidants. And if I remember correctly, I think they say bell peppers even have more potassium. Bell peppers or potatoes. Even bell peppers, I think more potassium than bananas. Um, let's see. It is red and more vitamin C and beta carotene. Beta carotene, which is converted into vitamin A. And that's all they're going with. Kidney beans or black beans? This one threw me off. I like black beans. Um, I've got two big old bags right there. And kidney beans, I don't know much about. But I already know from looking at it, it is kidney beans. And let's see. Provides 75% more dietary fiber, higher in iron, and that's what they're going with. So higher in iron may boost performance in females. So females should be eating these kidney beans. Canned corn or frozen corn? Now, I already know this one, but I've already heard this before, that anything frozen is always going to be better than anything canned. Why? Because they pick it and then it's just freshly frozen. Boom. Freezing it's going to keep in the nutrition versus you're packing it in a can. You're probably getting uh, BPA, whatever they line the can with. It's just sitting there. Yes, it's airtight, uh, but it is frozen corn. And what does it say? No. Nope. Not only is corn froze, not only is frozen corn free from sodium added to the corn, it also supplies nine times as nine times more vitamin C, twice as much beta carotene, and roughly fifty percent more potassium. Wow, that's crazy! I didn't expect the numbers to be that big, but evidently you've got to be going with frozen. Like I said, in my opinion, you should always go frozen over canned, and of course then fresh at all times. And that's the end. How did you do? How did you do? So once again, I think that is an interesting little survey there. What food is healthier? So now we know. Let's go through it again real quick, just in case. Pears over oranges. Bison over beef. Almonds over walnuts. Kale over spinach. Canned salmon over canned tuna. I've had canned salmon, though. That stuff is disgusting, man. Now that I bring it up, it has, like, bones in it and eyeballs in it. Maybe I just picked a weird brand, but that stuff was wrong. Totally wrong, man. Not good at all. Sprouted bread over wheat bread. Quinoa over rice. Turkey over chicken. Swiss cheese over cheddar. Grapefruit over orange. Greek yogurt over regular. Halibut over tilapia. Red bell pepper over green, black bean, or kidney over black bean, frozen corn over canned corn. So there you go. Just a nutritional quiz. What is better? Which food is healthier? I hope you enjoyed that. hope we gave you something to think about. Uh, maybe give you new dietary strategies within your meal plans. Maybe you have been using the wrong things, and now these will give you that little bit of an edge that you need to become healthier, faster, stronger, more flexible, whatever the case may be. So once again, don't forget to follow on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Google+. Plus. The podcast is out. I was just about to release a podcast today, and SoundCloud that I go through is having difficulties, and it will not let me load any 
podcast right now. So I don't know what, what's going to happen. I don't know how long it's going to take. Um, so hopefully something comes out here soon. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Share and like these videos.